Hey guys, Steve with Carter Detail. We're here to show you a Tesla Model S and what we do to it when we do a full car wrap. The very first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this mirror. Um, we're not doing a blackout package on this car, but we're going to show you how to take out the mirror. We're going to show you how to take a, and remove the chrome from it as well. Um, we have a lot of requests showing, asking us how we do what we do. So we're here going to show you the secrets of Colorado Detail. All right, guys, here we have our setup to remove the mirror uh, from the vehicle. What we're going to do is we're going to have a box from Home Depot to store all our little screws and bolts so we don't lose anything. We have a Phillips screwdriver to remove three screws on the mirror cap area, pick tools to get into small, tight areas to pry out anything, uh, a red dot, uh, a loaf of knife to remove uh, the zip ties that are in there holding some wires together and then a pack of zip ties, small ones, to put back on, the ones that we cut off, two pry tools, a flashlight, a magnet just in case we drop something, we have a 13 millimeter socket, we have a 10 millimeter socket, um, a 10, a number 10 uh, T10 Torx head, a number 35, and a ratchet and our screwdriver with uh, attachments for it. This is all we'll need to complete our task of removing the mirror from the Tesla Model S. So we just got into the car and if you didn't notice that the mirror actuates, we need to turn that off before we take the mirror off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to controls on the car, we're going to go up to settings, and we're going to go down to vehicle. Now at the top we have the mirror settings, we're going to turn off the auto tilt, we're also going to turn off the auto fold. That's going to prevent the mirror from moving when we, if we're still moving the car and the mirror is off and uh, making sure that it doesn't actuate in. And this can screw up the motor, so you don't want to have these on when you're doing this. So first thing we have, we have a nice thin with an edge pry tool and another one that's a little bit more stiff. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this mirror cap off. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pop this corner off by getting our pry tool under it and we're going to slide it around. You'll hear some snapping, but then that's it. Over here, we're going to just pop the other clips off just by pulling it up. Should come off easily. And there you go. So now we're going to stick our pry tool in here and you can see that we're lifting the mirror up a little bit. Once it's in there, we've added, created a gap. Now we're going to twist it and pull up on both. And now we have a mirror that's disassembled. Next step is we're going to start taking apart the door panel. So next we're going to use our pick tools to remove the rubber cover and the plastic shield here. So on the back of the rubber cover there's two tabs. You can pull up the first one and then it just comes right out. So you got two tabs. I started on this one, pulled it up and it pulls right out. You'll see there's a 10 millimeter bolt in there and we're going to do the front cover. Pull the door handle back, pop the cover forward and just pulls right out. Behind here we have two 35 millimeter Torx screws that we're going to remove along with the 10 millimeter uh, bolt down here. So next we're going to take our two inch flat pry tool we're going to start at the corner here, we're going to pop it off and then work our way around getting all the snaps off. Um, on this corner, on the older versions, there is a safety strap. Do not cut that, it's there for a reason. On the newer ones, the, it no longer has it there. Now, we're going to come in here, get our tool, snap the top off. Once we get it started, it's just a matter of pulling off the door panel. So normally, if we're taking the door handle off to do our chrome delete, we would disconnect all these uh, LEDs, uh, the door handle uh, wire, but because we're just taking the mirror off, we're going to leave all those wires on. We're going to take off this clip first, and then the main mirror actuation cables. Uh, we now have a plug here and a plug here that we're just going to take our, our other pry tool, just pop it forward. 
and there's uh, the rubber gets tucked behind there. We actually don't have to take that one all the way off. We'll just leave it hanging like that. So now we have a 13 millimeter socket. We're gonna remove these. These are steel bolts in aluminum frame. So you wanna go, you wanna be careful and you wanna go slow. You don't wanna overstrip or over tighten the, uh, the, the bolts here. Now that we have the three 13 millimeter bolts out, we can take the mirror off. You wanna be careful of the foam take the foam out properly, taking the foam backing off so that it doesn't mess up inside here. You just want to pull it back, don't rip it, don't break it, and then just stuff it back when you are ready to put the mirror back. Um, I took this guy off because this Tesla sells this separately from the mirror assembly. Um, you can leave this on, you can do everything with this guy on just as easily as what I did. It makes it a little bit more difficult just because there's more stuff in the part. Uh, to get this guy off on the back side here, there's, I believe these are 35 millimeter screws. You just pull those off and the, the glass comes off as well. Before we go take the chrome off the, the mirror, we're gonna put the door panel back on. It just lets it, so we're not hanging on the cables or anything like that. And we're just gonna push a couple of the clips on, not all of them. So just line it up with the holes and the clips. Just two on there. That'll be nice to uh, hold it there in place while we work. So this is the mirror we just pulled off of this blue Tesla. Because we're not doing a full chrome delete on it, we're gonna switch to another mirror because it's kind of a pain to take all this stuff apart. Uh, this is one that we actually broke once before. Uh, we break something, we replace it. That's what we do. Um, no charge to the customer. But we blacked this one guy out. We happened to break the motor just because we didn't know um, what we were doing in the beginning, and now we do. That's why we're showing this video. So the next step is we're gonna take the bottom chrome piece, which is already black. Um, off by removing these three screws and taking the clips off. Once you have that off, we're going to put a pry tool in here and pull down. and the cap has been removed. We now have three exposed screws that are holding the top chrome piece on. Two of them are which go into the bottom plastic chrome and one actually is a machine thread screw that actually mounts into the metal bracket below. So now we're gonna separate the two chrome pieces from the metal bracket. The top one's fairly easy. Should just slide forward and pop off. On the back half here, there's these clips, there's one here, and there's one that we actually broke off. Now that's why sometimes it's hard to pull off. They actually go into a slot in the metal bracket right here. So sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. Um, the next thing, what we're gonna do, the bottom chrome piece is really hard not to break, I don't know if you can see, but there's these tabs here. They're very fragile. It's better to do this when it's warm or heat it up with a heat gun so that they don't snap and break uh, because they are brittle. So we're gonna push all these tabs so that it's released. And they're all the way around, it pops off. So you have one, two, three, and four. Uh, this one was broken, um, they break easily. They still hold on if you break one, but just so you know, heat up the part so that you don't break it off. Now, we have all the chrome off, but we have to remove the wires from the mirror to actually get this piece off. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop off the glass off from this side. And if you come in closely, down here, there's a motor that actuates the glass that rotates the mirror. We're gonna, there's little tabs, really hard to see. We're gonna use our pick tools and we're gonna start on the, by pushing the mirror all the way forward or all the way in like that. That gives us exposed. Um, the way I do it is I put my fingers in here and add pressure while I come in here and pop these clips off. 
And once you get the clips to go, the mirror should just pop right off. So on the back of the mirror, or the glass, we have these four taps. And that's what I used the pry tool to pull back. And while adding pressure with my hand, kept them from snapping back on to the actual motor that actuates the mirror. Now we're gonna disassemble the wires. These wires doesn't matter, it's the heater um, for the glass. So when it gets foggy, it'll heat the glass up. Um, and then this guy here is for the dimming capability. And now you have the mirror fully off. Next up, we're gonna remove the motor. Uh, we're gonna use the 18, number 18 Torx uh, head and remove these three screws. Also for reference, um, you have X and Y motion. You wanna make sure that when you put the motor back, it's back in the same position that you took it off. The Y is up and down and the X is left and right. Now we have the motor out, we're gonna disconnect the last plug. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the main hub off of the clip here, the coaxial cable for the heater. So we're gonna pop that up. And then right here, you'll see that there's a little clip that's holding it on, so we're gonna pop that up and pull it out. Again. So you guys can see this. The clip goes in one way, locks it down. We're gonna take our little pry tool, take that guy off, pull that out. So next, we're gonna disconnect the motor plugs with the tab up, and then we're gonna pull the motor out, the plug out. We're not gonna remove this guy. Uh, it is double-sided tape with some foam pad. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to re-thread the wires that, from the back of the mirror. We're just going to pull them out. So we have the zip ties that we're going to remove. Since we have the chrome off on the back side here, we're just going to take our red dot knife and we're just going to cut the zip tie. Now that everything's loose, we're just gonna thread it back out. So we're gonna remove the tape that's on these here. And we're gonna thread this coaxial cable this way. We're gonna pull that one all the way out. First, we're gonna leave that one on. And we're gonna start threading the main cables through. So we'll pull the heater wires through first. So we get more room in there, which is this one. Then the motor wire. Then the glass wire. And then the last final motor for the for the mirror. And now, everything has been separated from the Tesla mirror bracket. You'll notice that, yes, this one's broken. Uh, these ones aren't. Uh, this one is also broken. So you need to be very careful when doing this. Um, we replaced this mirror because we actually broke the, mirror, the motor on it. Um, they're not cheap, runs about $300, $350 bucks for it, um, as long with, as these little tabs here. Um, they still hold on if you do break them, but just so you know, if it starts to rattle, you need to replace it. They don't sell these pieces separately, so you need to be very careful. This is one of the very first ones we did. Um, after this, everything seemed to go a lot easier, and we now do it quite often. So now we're gonna reassemble it all back. First things first, First piece that goes on. Again, on the back staff, there's that tab, and the tab that we broke off here goes on, just like that. 
we will actually add a screw to hold it in place while we continue to work. I don't recommend using a power tools. Uh, these machine screws are very fragile. They can snap and break. Um, I've had to retap one and get a new screw as well. So you want to be careful in doing that. Next, we're going to re-thread all, all the wires back through the mirror. The bigger ones are always easier to go through first because the hole is a certain size. And then the smaller ones, use your screwdriver to kind of push them through. Don't want to forget this guy. Done that before and had to retake it all apart. So this is the one that goes this way. On the passenger side mirror, there's actually two of these. So you want to make sure you label what cap came off which. I'm going to thread it back through the hole. At this point, um, there's two things you can do. You can actually reassemble this guy here um, and thread some zip ties through these four holes before, uh, and that way it's all one piece and you're not worried about it. Um, you can do that like this, and then that way you get an estimate for how long the wires need to be pulled through. So we're gonna put the mirror back on. You can see the lock and key that we got going on over here. This, this part fits right over it. We're gonna push it forward. Now the mirror is actually back on the part. Uh, to get it off is obviously difficult like we did in the very beginning. But now it's all one piece and we don't have to worry about pieces moving. Um, I would recommend threading the, before you put these two back together, thread your zip ties back in here to hold the wires down as it actuates. So now we're gonna thread the wires back through. When we thread them back through, the motor wire stays up and the other ones go back to the mirror. Now we're gonna tuck our wires. There's this, these little clips on the, on the mirror cap here. We're gonna tuck them under there. And then we're gonna plug the motor back in. So now we have the back side. We're gonna take and put the mirror motor actuator back in. And remember when we took it off that the X and Y need to be positioned properly. So we're making sure that the Y, X is left and right, Y is up and down. So we just plugged in the mirror, um, the mirror motor. We wanna make sure that all our wires run properly. So when you take this mirror and you put it back on here, as it goes that way, we want to make sure all the wires come out the back corner before we put this guy back on. So we're going to make sure our wires are over here, and now we can reassemble the screws. Again, using a hand tool versus a, a drill, um, because these screws can break easily, the plastic can break easily, and that way you're not over-torquing anything. Next, we're gonna attach the mirror wires back together. Make sure they line up in their sockets, and little straps there. Connect the heater ones, they're really tight so it's hard to see on camera. See that? They're all back in there. 
And then just like we took it apart, all you have to do is line it up with the motor, this, the back circle tabs, these guys here, around the, the motor. And once it's properly aligned, just snap it back in place. So it's always good to put these on first. And there's four holes here. You're gonna put a zip tie back here and here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the zip tie, gonna fold it, get it in the hole, and then kind of curl it up. So now I have the zip tie as a hook in there. I'm just gonna grab it with my little scissors here, or pliers, whatever works best for you, and then you can just feed it through. Now that the wires are threaded through the mirror and predetermined the length, you can now zip tie it down. And then you can just cut off the excess. We'll add one more here, and then we'll start doing the next piece of chrome. Now we're gonna take the bottom chrome, um, making sure that we didn't break our tabs in the first place, and we're going to snap it onto the bottom. So we're going to line it up and push it on. We're going to add our final two screws uh, to the top here. Now I did this one, the screw over here, for a reason, because it's harder to get access to the, uh, the, the third screw. So these two I now have full access, and we'll just put the machine screw back over here. This one is a threaded screw that threaded into the plastic insert on that bottom piece of chrome, which is now black, to hold that piece up as well. I did forget to mention earlier on, there is a piece of foam that goes right here. You can take it off very carefully. We'll actually show you on this mirror here. On the back of this chrome piece, the bottom one has a foam little insert that rests on the car. So you want to make sure you take that off properly and put it back on when you're done. Um, if you take it off and you damage it, just go buy another little piece of foam and put it on there. So now we have our chrome back together, our wires threaded. We're gonna put our bottom chrome blacked out piece back on. This one just snaps on and then is held in by those three screws. Again, we're using hand tools, so we don't over tighten the screws, strip them, and or break them. Obviously you wanna be a lot more careful than I am. Um, this is a demo mirror that we have that just sits on our shelf. Uh, so that you're not scratching the, the chrome or the, the freshly painted um, chrome pieces and you're not scratching anything else that you may have just done to it while reassembling. If you do have a vise, um, you can put this in a vise. And remember these screws, that we the three 13 millimeter bolts, These uh, this is an aluminum bracket with a steel screw, so they're self-tapped in there. Really easy to strip. So when we go back on, we're going to go slow and easy and not over tighten them because you can strip them. So last piece, so we're going to put the clip back on. We're going to pop the cap off. Put it back in. Put the cap back on. The cap only goes in one way, so you can't mess that up. And we're going to take the rubber shielding that was on there and electrical tape it back on. And then we're ready to put the mirror back on. Now we're going to reassemble the car the mirror back onto the car as well as popping the door panel back off and adding the screws back on we're just going to light it let it hang lightly so that we are so now we are going to put the mirror back in slowly gently and making sure it lines up with the glass and the inserts here making sure the foam gets tucked back in properly. 
on the back half here, along the other side, we can plug in this, all this stuff here. So we're going to take the next three 13 millimeter bolts and loosely put them back into the mirror. Remember, you're putting it back into aluminum, so you want to go slow and you don't want to cross thread it. Alright, now we're tucking, got all the foam and tucked in, it's loose. What we want to do is realign it so that we have no um, air gap. So we're going to get it kind of snug. There's a little bit of play in this mirror. So we want to make sure that we get the seal back where you can see some of the rub lines. Just want to make sure that the mirror is right in that same spot and just tighten up one of them. What I tell my customers is come to me first. I'll do the adjustment so that you're not bothering Tesla with something with air gap. If it's coming in here, you can hear that noise. That's probably what we screwed up. We'll fix it for you. Once you have one of them tight, you can tighten the rest of them. And again, don't over tighten them because it is aluminum and it can strip pretty easily. Next, we're gonna tuck the rubber back in here. And what I like to do, just grab your pry tool, kind of to get that piece kind of stuck back in there. Sometimes it's a little easier to click bit in the front here first, get it up over, and then just start tucking it, the rubber behind there. So it stays. Now that we have the three bolts tightened down, everything clipped back in, we are now ready to put the door panel back on fully. So we're gonna line up the door making sure everything is ready, and then just snap it back on. And just double check everything's on there, it's nice and solid. You wanna check all your lights. This is a great time to check if the mirror works. Um, on the mirror, on the door panel here, there's some controls to actuate the mirror, so we're gonna check it. Folds nicely. We're now also gonna check the motor, making sure that left and right work, up and down work, before we put any other bolts back together. We take our 35 millimeter screws, our 35 Torx millimeter screws, and put that back on. We're gonna switch it out for our 10 millimeter socket, and put the top screw back in. We'll install the covers back on. Final step is to put the mirror cap back on. We're going to line up the back half first, get it on there. You got the corner down, you got the back side, we're going to push it down. And it should snap right in place. The final thing we want to do is reset all the settings to the mirror that we just had. So we're gonna to go to settings, we're already at vehicle. We're gonna put the tilt on and put the auto fold back on as well. Thanks for watching guys. We just finished the install and removal of a Tesla Model S mirror assembly. The assembly is very similar to the Model X. We'll do another video for that. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and we will uh, see you next time.